you know three days ago an individual from my ethnic group called me and he told me this this time round we are taking it and I said who are we and he told me don't you know I knew what he was saying of course and immediately I told him never ever appeal to my ethnic sensibilities I did not go to school that I vote individuals because they come from my ethnic group tell me their agenda on health their agenda on agriculture so that if I vote for them it should just be coincidental that we come from the same ethnic extraction I'm submitting to us that even you the electorate when you are called upon to vote vote right then I told them subsequently that how is it and I repeat it again here you have been given an opportunity to elect you elect a hyena to take care of goats and then when the goats have been eaten you wonder why it's about our time of the decade when politicians act like they care it's about that once in four years when politicians start coming here making funny gestures like eating corn and other food on the streets hawking attending our events and religious places of worship plating hair and generally identifying with the poverty and ghetto life of the trenches sending the subtle message we know what you're going through we will mimic your suffering mock you and you have no right to take offenses but logically it's only a man without conscience that will mock a physically challenged in order to ask for their assistance i mean that is the first step in identifying a politician that lack common sense but i think it's all part of the big plan of keeping the people poor making us clamor for their help and presence they're showing up when they need us oh my bad sorry our votes because politicians do not see people but votes all they care about is their numbers and we do anything to keep it afloat getting really entertained while making us the joke dividing us by race gender tribe religion when it's time for election they make policies that affect us collectively punishing us as a people regardless of how we have been divided and don't forget the ripple effect this have on the next generation most bad politicians encourage party polarization pushing the ideology of political identity and party affiliation over the content of the character of an aspirant study shows that the more we are party polarized the more we give excuses for corruption on the rise we become biased to the point we can't criticize leaders failure in improving our education system economy health unity earth and infrastructure we let ourselves believe it will be worst if it's the other party's guy we fail to understand that the greatest impact of our power is not felt in riot or strike but when politicians come near and that is election time so we must come as a people and shun bias and look into the heart and track record of these guys and not their normal empty promises they lure us with by speaking rainbows and sunshine accompanied with bribe isn't it obvious that one bribe only when they are not qualified my brother We've suffered so much in the past 8 years and we don't have all the luxury and time to choose our next leader on the basis of tribe, religion or party we are members of or not get invited for their meetings. My brothers and sisters, have we forgotten so soon? In 2020, politicians were hiding COVID palliatives. We tried to speak up as youth, but God showed that the lack of toll gates and isn't it appalling that a nigerian can still be bought to support these same politicians getting paid with the currency that can buy today what it bought yesterday because of hyperinflation let's have all this in our hearts while we vote a politician that doesn't focus on how powerless we are but amplifies our strength a politician that doesn't promise us what he would do but what we can do together to restore our fundamental human rights and livelihood a great leader who focuses on the root cause of problems and not symptoms laying out practicable steps and providing solution but the irony is in 2022 we still have a politician promising to bribe our children with something as trivial as one egg per day when what we need is an economy for us to work and feed our children ourselves and not food being a campaign promise i mean nigerians 
Can't we see the subtle message of how poor the economy will be, that feeding our kids will be luxury? And it beats me how we still judge politicians based on tribal bias, caring less of how much they are corrupt. This doesn't add up. I mean, why are you drinking poison because it's served with your tribal or religious cup at this point? All I can say is, dear Nigerians, suffer not they tire you. How did we get this blind? A politician promising to give office to a tribe when it's done, like with some prostitute he referred to a friend when he's done banging. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being a pawn, even worse than black, being treated like a slave, even in my father's land. At this point, all we need is a leader, not just a politician, someone who will stabilize our failing economy, heal our sick health system, educate our ignorant education system, and generally put Nigeria on a path to positive growth and revitalization. And if we don't want to do this for us, Let's do it for our children and the next generation, for our safety, our lives, and the life of those we love. This is a time to exercise our right to vote and protect our votes, using all we got and our exposure to technology. I pledge my support, and I hope you do same. And together, we take back our Nigeria with secret love.